Until one stings you, bees are easily ignored, but they are crucial. Almost everything people eat is dependent on what they do. Every piece of food on this planet starts off with some sort of pollination. Everything starts off from a plant and then the, the animals eat the plant and, and then it makes the meat. But bees are in crisis. Something called colony collapse disorder has wiped out about a quarter of the world's honeybees. Einstein once said that uh, if bees disappear we have about four years to live. Um, whether he's right or not I don't know, but I don't want to put it to the test. So scientists on the Australian island of Tasmania are testing bees' movements. Tiny microchips are being attached to bees with superglue. It's about a third of the weight that a bee can carry. It's not much, it's just like someone walking with a backpack. As each microchipped bee leaves and comes back to the hive, its identity is recorded to see how long it's been away. Over 18 months, about 10,000 bees will be chipped and tracked. The idea is to get the broadest possible data on how bees move under different environmental conditions. Bees are being tracked first in pristine conditions to establish a baseline pattern of behaviour. What we would expect to have from this technology is really a deep understanding on how the bee behaves. So we know, for example, how many times each one of those bees are leaving the hive and for how long they have been out. Soon, low levels of pesticides will be put into the sugar water the bees feed on, then separately components of pollution to see if either changes bee behaviour. Bees um, navigate to a source and back and communicate that information. So if that information isn't being perceived by the nervous system correctly, then bees are not doing it efficiently or even getting back to the hive. Once it's clear what changes bee behaviour and may be damaging them, that can be addressed. Meanwhile, movement patterns can guide the positioning of hives relative to crops, so a world with fewer bees uses them more efficiently. Bees, after all, like being busy. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Jeevston, Tasmania.